Obviously, the, the first thing I want to ask about is the social media post of you and your, your girlfriend from South Carolina. It seems to be getting quite a bit of attention out there. Yeah, uh, <laughs> trying to keep her out of all this stuff, but uh, ended up, you can thank Jordan for that. Uh, we took a picture, and he's like, kiss her, kiss her, kiss her. And then the whole, their dance team started going crazy. I was like, yeah, might as well. <laughs> but uh, no, nah, nah, we had a good time. Uh, it was good to see her doing her thing, uh, working, and my brother seeing him. So uh, it, it was good. Um, got caught up on the social media, but that's all good. We've been talking about the game coming up on, on Saturday, Virginia. What have you guys seen with those guys? you got Bryce Perkins, the uh, yeah. dual threat quarterback, over 400 plus yards last week in total offense for him. Uh, a different kind of animal than you guys have used to seeing so far this year. What yeah, have you he, seen him take so far, and yeah. what have you guys got plan for him? Yeah, he's definitely a stud. He's got uh, a really good offensive line, a uh, good good core receivers. Um, so it's going to be a real challenge for us. Uh, we got to watch that game going up to uh, Columbia on the TV uh, while we were riding on the bus. So it's good to see them uh, play that game. It was a really good game back and forth. Uh, I know it was good for their program getting that win. And th I mean, you're not going to face any, any bad team from here on out. It's all championship games. So we're super excited for the competition that we're going to get to play and uh, just be able to prove ourselves as a defense. So it's going to be a very very big challenge for us uh, dealing with him, but uh, we're looking forward to it. Um, I don't know. He's he's got a different dynamic. He's a he's a bigger guy than most. Uh, Kellen Mond was kind of that kind of similar, where he could do do both. I know he's been dealing with some injuries this year, but uh, I guess you could say someone like that, real big physical guy that could throw the ball well um, and just make it happen with his legs. So it's very hard going against that because you got to think about it. As, uh, you got you to bring extra guys into the box and things like that, trying to slow him down. But uh, it would be very difficult for us. But we're, like I said, we're looking forward to the challenge. What does Coach Venables meant to your development in your time here since you've been here and what's changed where you are? Just your complete belief in what he's doing. I think the uh, the knowledge he provides for for young guys coming in. I know for myself, I go, I watch uh, games on TV, all college football and things like that, and I see like leverages and things like that. So I'm already seeing seeing things happen before they even happen. And um, just being around him, being in the film room with him, letting him teach me as much as as much as he can, it's definitely helped me develop as a player because I know uh, my leverages, I know what to look for, and things like that. And I feel like a lot of other teams don't not having him in your corners uh, is not very good not very good I think he's the best at what he does so it's definitely helped me as a player helping understand and uh, just making me better has there been a moment where he told you something was going to happen when you look at the film and then the game comes around and you just see it play out right in front of you maybe it's one of your interceptions or zero. has there been a specific play where you're like I knew that was coming yeah um, there's been a there's been a bunch probably the most uh, recent one was probably the Wake Forest game when we were in the red zone and Tyler Davis batted the ball down. If he wouldn't have batted that ball down, I would have probably uh, pick sixed it because they ran a little drive route and it was exactly what we thought they were going to do, um, which would have been great. I just looked at him, I, was, I just threw my hands up like, ah, like that was it. But it's usually about every game um, something happens where you're like, ah, you got him. I've gotten him a few times on. Um, like first plays, we'll think somebody will do something, and then we'll be like, nah, I bet he does this, or something like that. Uh, so I got him a few times, but he's super, super savvy, super smart, and um, can't thank him enough. You said this defense still has, by going into this game, has a chance to prove itself. Do you think that it's still, this particular defense uh, has really proven itself? I think we've done a great, great job this season just uh, staying focused on what we got to do. I know not a lot of people want to give us credit for what we're doing, but it is what it is. Uh, not a lot of teams have done what we've done. I don't think any team has ever held a t uh, held teams under 300 yards the, for the whole complete season, which is, um, like I said, probably never happened before. So we, we know what we got, and um, we know what we got to get better at. There was a lot of mistakes still Saturday. There's always mistakes that you can get better from. 
So we're constantly improving, and uh, I think if you're doing that as a defense, then you're in, you're in good hands, you know. Okay. I was going to say, y'all aren't getting credit for yourself. Uh, Kayvon was saying you bothered that y'all are number three or something, like it's ridiculous or something like that. Is that what you mean or what you mean by um, I mean, there's just a lot of national media around other things, which is it's fine with me. I, I, don't, I don't mind that at all, but I know it bothers a lot of our guys just not being able to get the recognition that they deserve. But what we're doing is special. And it's happened every year that I've been here. We'll have really special years. But nobody really takes notice till the playoff or the national championship. And then after, they're like, oh, man, that was, that was such a great season. You know, we're like, yeah, we've been doing it all year. We know. But um, – and that's okay. You know, we, we just roll with the punches, you know. We, we enjoy the moment. Um, I don't know if a lot of teams do that. They're always looking forward to the next. But we're always enjoying the moment every single day that I get to come out here with my guys is a blessing for me. Did you notice Kayvon was saying this is a pretty personal week for him to play in Virginia? Did you notice mm-hmm. anything different about him? I just saw him over there. He's, he's giving me a, a good little insight of how he's feeling. So, uh, yeah, he's definitely excited for this challenge being from Virginia. Um, you know. I don't know if I'd have to go back and talk to them if they offered him or things like that. But they didn't. So yeah. So that's it's just crazy, you know. He's he's such a great player and has done great things here. And um, when you don't get a guy like that out of your own state, it's it's tough, you know, because he's just such a great player. I've seen that happen to a bunch of my friends as well, and they always have that chip on their shoulder. And that's how Kayvon has always been. He's always had that chip on his shoulder, being. Um, Somebody that not a lot of people appreciated, and then Coach V brings him in, and he just has just bloomed, you know. Because of losing all those great defensive linemen to the NFL, and of course, you know, uh, Trey and Kendall and Trayvon, so much talent. Is this arguably for you, maybe individually, been his most, maybe your most satisfying season because of what you guys have done after what you lost? At least up to this point. Yes and no. I think when you lose guys like that, you just lose so much experience. Um, and knowledge in the game, so you, you really rely on those guys. But just for me personally, it's just been it's been I've just been so happy all season, just being able to teach and uh, learn from these young guys, and just try to help them get to that next level. And it's just been it's just been such a fun year. That's, that's just what I can say about it. It's just been so much fun, just learning and developing these guys, and just you know just seeing them just seeing them grow. It's just my favorite part of it. In uh, Virginia's three losses this year, that the opponents have really taken a lot of pressure and mm-hmm. sacked Bryce Perkins. Mm-hmm. Is that the key to defending a guy like him? We'll have to we'll have to see. It's a, it's a week long process developing a plan for these guy for each team. Uh, so we'll have to just go in the drawing board, see what Coach V has cooking up, and uh, go from there. I'm sure he'll have some kind of pressure or. You never really know with him. He'll, he'll come out of left field with some, some of these plans, and you're just like, all right, let's do it then. <laughs> but you always have faith in him as a, um, as a play caller and a coordinator, so we're looking forward to it. Is the fact that he mixes it up so frequently, that must be kind of enjoyable as a player. Oh, yeah. If you, being able to do different things, being able to uh, play coverage, blitz, uh, zone coverage, all kinds of different things that he's, he allows you to do. And he, he, he lets so many people do it. So you never really know what we're going to do or who's going to do it. So it's just a lot of fun being able to do that and, and know at any, any moment in any week or any game, you're never going to be called and you make a big play. So it's a lot of fun being able to do it and being able to see other people do it. Has there been one particular game plan that Venables has drawn up that maybe just jumps out at you as you're going into the, into the game thinking, man, this is crazy. How is this ever going to work? And then go, wow, it did work. Uh, kind of probably when I was young, young and dumb, I didn't believe – all, all the time, I was like, oh, I, hope, I hope it works, you know. I'm going to do it, but I hope it works. But, um, you know, I, now that I'm older, I, I know more, and I just trust him. So, uh, now nowadays, I just let it roll. Whatever he says goes. But when I was younger, I used to be a little bit like, like oh, maybe, maybe not. But, yeah. Oh, good. Thank you, Tim. Thank you all.